so 2019, girl. What are you wearing? No. What's up, guys? It's your girl, Eddie Elise, and I'm back with another video, video, video. For those of you guys who are new here, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, but most importantly, hit that bell button so you are in tune with every single thing that I do. That I do, that I do, that I do. Alrighty, guys. So for those of you guys who actually are super new to this channel, I post every single Saturday and I do everything fashion. Okay? Okay. Let's just jump straight into this video. As you guys can see by today's title, I am doing a 2020 trend analysis. So... It is 2020, is the start of a new decade, and I'm super excited, there's so much to do, but before we get into anything productive, we need to establish what is the trends for 2020? What is the upcoming trends for 2020? Because you don't want to be that person that other people are like, that is so 2019, girl. What are you wearing? No. You don't want to be that person, so I'm about to help you. Here's a just a huge disclosure. I got all my research done at WGSN, the Fashion Snoops, the Business of Fashion. These are all databases that people in the fashion industry go to to get forecasted trends to see what is out to be popping for the new year. Okay, okay. These databases, however, are going to be linked below. But I must warn you, they do cost. It's like a subscription. Um, but you really don't have to pay for it because I'm basically summing it all up for you. Okay, okay. I have my handy dandy laptop right here. So if I'm looking down, that means I'm looking at my laptop. But I'm going to try to make this video as quick as possible for you guys because I, I already know how it is watching a video for 40 fucking minutes. Okay, so we're going to pop up a table of content right here. And we're going to go into main trends. So I'm going to put the table of contents on either side, on this side or on this side, with the time stamps, okay? So that if you're interested in something specific, you can just skip right over. You don't have to stay through the whole entire video. I would not get upset with you guys. I promise. I understand. I am a fellow YouTube watcher, okay? Alrighty. So the four main trends that I'm here to discuss with you guys so that you guys can hop on the bandwagon before the bandwagon is even built is modern utility, staple elegance, our denim trends of 2020, and our minimal futurist trends, okay? So again, I'm going to have all the graphics up on the screen, but if you see me looking down, that's because I'm explaining something that's on the screen and I want to explain it to you guys the way you guys are seeing it. Alrighty, so let's actually just jump straight into modern utility. Okay, last year, I'm going to give you guys like a little sum up. Last year, we did have utility. So if you guys are like, Ugh, that is so 2019. Yes, we had utility. Utility was starting to get popping the second half, spring, summer 2019. And um, this utility in 2019, is, it differs from the one in 2020. And I'm going to tell you why. Our utility in 2020 is softer. That sounds crazy, but it is. Literally, everything about it is softer. The, the color palettes are softer. Um, the leather art is softer, everything is softer. So in 2019, we had these bulky utility jackets, utility pants, everything. We had it super bulky, which it was in style, everybody loved. But this year, we are turning it up a notch and everything is gonna be super softer. So it's gonna be a lot of fluidity, there's gonna be a little bit of structure, there's gonna be softer um, leather, the color palettes are gonna be popping. So yeah, but the two things that do stay the same this year that was also there in the utility trend last year is the hardware and the oversized pockets. Those two are main focus and what makes the utility trend a utility trend, okay? So as you guys can see here, we have this girl in a jumpsuit. It has the oversized pockets, but it's not as structured. You could see that there's some type of movement in her pose, in her clothes, in the jumpsuit in general, there's movement. 
Whereas in 2019, you would have had it super boxy, super stiff, and that was a look. I'm not gonna lie, that was that super stiff, boxy utility. It was definitely a look, but this year, this fluidity is popping. It's on and popping. Alrighty, next we come up with this color palette. So, as you guys know, black is our go to color. As always, every season, black is gonna be a go to color. Black will never go out of style. However, what year was black was the new orange? Orange was the new black? No, sis. Spring, summer 2020, dark navy is the new black, okay? As you guys can see all the way on the bottom, right here, this color is popping, okay? This color is the new black. This is our go-to color. When you're like, damn, let me just, I don't know what to wear, let me just put on all black. You're going to be like, damn, I don't know what to wear, let me put on all dark navy type of vibe okay okay so we have that and this green the fourth one from the top and the fourth one from the bottom the one in the middle <laughs> this dark green is also like our go-to this is our equivalent to black as well not so much for as the dark navy but it is a major part in our utility trend this dark green emerald green it's not really an olive green like it was last year and 2018 it's more getting into that emerald green so then we also have the original deep sunset hues such as spiced tan which is the third one from up the third one from the bottom and amber which is the second one from the bottom and these two colors are basically our ogs of the utility trend and when I say the OGs of the utility trend, because when the utility trend first came out, we had that khaki color, we had that orange color, and it really wouldn't be a utility trend without these two colors. So incorporating it in 2020 is an essential. And then as you go up, we start to get into the lighters. The shades of purest views, the purest blue offers a feminine alternative to the masculine hue. So the top hues, are super feminine we have like that, that off white we have the cream we have the really baby blue and then once we start to get towards that green khakis orange and navy blues we start to get a little bit more masculine so we are mixing masculinity with femininity alrighty so also for our utility trend it's all in the detail we have the the hardware we have the oversized pockets um, we also have this soft leather. We also have draping in utility. So we actually have some type of fluidity now that we never had in utility. We have, as you guys can see, um, this white dress. It's still utility. It has the utility um, drawstrings, but you see how it's flowy. It has pleats in it. So we are bringing that fluidity to this utility trend that we have never seen before. And then we also right here have this leather jacket and this shows you that we are softening it up because usually we would do it with like a harder leather but this year we're really softening stuff up. And then as for our footwear in this trend, we're staying the same and we're just adding practical components to it. So as you can see with our Jesus sandals, it's the same Jesus sandals, but we have smoother leathers and stitch tab closures. We have the same um, combat boot, but this combat boot now in 2020, you could wear all year round, spring, summer, fall, winter. And then we do have our aviator sandals. So it's all the same. We just are really detailing our practical components and really elevating it. As far as accessories, we are keying in and we are narrowing in on our details for practicality. Alrighty, so right here we have a hip bag and we have a carrying clip on the hip bag. And that just brings you that utility, that practicality to it because when you have keys, you could just throw it on. If you have a wallet chain, you could just throw it on it and you could just not throw anything on it, but it just looks really dope. Um, and we also for jewelry we stay simple this year the same way as last year simplicity is better we like to think of it less is more and that's about it for the accessories next we're gonna get into the fabrics girl the fabrics of 
our modern utility trend. So we want to use fabrics that support sustainability. Sustainability, the sustainability movement has been a while for a while. It's just getting, people are just hopping on the bandwagon more this year. And when it comes to our fabrics in 2020, sustainability, functionality, and practicality are essential in 2020. We use traditional plain weaves and responsible cotton twills for comfort and durability. We're all into the comfort. We're not with the beauty is pain this year. We, d we are not with it this year. So okay. next, we are going to jump into our denim trend. So our denim trend, we're all about the 80s drama. We have sharp shoulders, the return of acid wash, and high waist. Let's get right into it. Reimagine 1980s classics such as biker jackets and power shoulder suits in contemporary forms that are less excessive and feel more current. A scale of bright blue cast denims through to pale stone wash shades is key for this retro story. So in 2020 for our denim, we are reinventing core denim items with the 1980s appeal. So we take a subtle and considered approach to the dramatic shapes of the 1980s for the contemporary consumer. Shoulder details such as gathered seams or pronounced edges give the notion of power suits, but with more wearability. Invest in high rise jeans with decorative yoke details and cuffed hems for a barrel leg shape. So key fabrics. We're gonna add some drama and decorative seams and sharp shoulders. Like literally we're going back to the 80s, okay? Western styling continues to captivate design 1980s insertions and we add a lot of drama to this high rise jeans with decorative overlock seams. So the wash and color. We like to be responsible and adopt sustainable wash techniques because we all know we're not even going to get into it, but we all know we use a lot of water to create denim. Reimagine classic stone and acid wash effects through low impact techniques that reduce your chemical and water footprint. New advices in stone and ozone can simulate like for like looks with little cost difference. Recreate acid and bleach effects with organic enzymes treatment. So. All in all, throughout 2020, we are focused on sustainability, getting the same look, just more sustainable, more healthier. And for our denim, we are literally throwing it back, honey, to the 80s. And that's just it. Look up the 80s and you'll know what to buy in 2020 as far as denim goes. Last but not least, we have our minimal futurist trend. We have clean lines, minimal details, and a feminine sensibility to create an easy to wear trend. So 2019, we were into the layering, but here we are layering a long over long. So we are really getting oversized here. Consider asymmetrical details in a simple sheath dress or create visual appeal by twisting materials to expose skin at the waist. Wow, we're getting it in 2020. So here is our color palette for our minimal futurist trend. So here we emphasize simple forms via gentle palette of barely there hues. And um, for fashion forward markets, play into the singular apparel of color and merchandise in head to toe dressing. Contrast tones such as soft grass, which is the second, which is the third one from the bottom or pale blue, which is the one in the middle, against olive green or black for ease to wear in a more commercial direction. So next we have a drive-in futuristic approach with innovative fabric manipulation. Simple forms underscore the no fuss approach with clean lines and off kitler cuts. The updated skirt suit takes a futuristic appeal with high neck collars, zip closures, and splits. Soft handle knits are great for elongated dresses. Apply asymmetrical details at the shoulder of a column dress to break up a gnostic look. So we do give jackets a futuristic edge with creative fabric manipulation and 
the draping. So for our footwear, we have bare back details and squared off silhouettes. The futuristic approach approach runs through footwear with a no fuss sensibility. So as far as our fabrics, we create a drape and manipulation with refined silk. Use of timeless luxury looks fabrics continues from pre-summer and is paramount to the appeal of these understated silhouettes. Use refined silks, thin leather, and satin to allow for drape and fabric manipulation. For our prints and graphics, we focus on barely there prints for surface design. The minimalistic aesthetic transcends prints and graphics as a subtle textures. Linear patterns and hashtag no prints emerge. Use simple graceful lines and contrast colors to create a dramatic effect. So all in all, we are layering, we are super fluid in this um, trend and we are doing less but saying more in this trend i really like this trend <clears throat> so anyways guys i really wanted to come on here because i do understand that these things cost all these database costs to get these actual real life trend forecasting you do have to pay for subscriptions so i wanted to come on here and give it to you guys for free 99 but most importantly, I do just want us all to be up to date in 2020. And yeah, comment down below what you guys think of the new trends in 2020. What is your favorite trend? Of course, there is more trends. And if you're interested in that, you could click the link in the bio, create a WGSN subscription and just search up 2020 trends and you will find it all and you can read it all. Alrighty. Alright guys, I'll see you guys next Saturday.